Diddy has a long road ahead of him. It's no secret that Diddy has a long road ahead of him, as he's currently facing several charges related to alleged sex trafficking and racketeering. The Bad Boy founder was arrested earlier this month in New York City and remains in custody at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. Reportedly, he could be hit with a lengthy prison sentence if he's convicted. According to his lawyer Mark Agnifilo, however, he hasn't let that shake his confidence. During his appearance in TMZ's new documentary, The Downfall of Diddy, the indictment, Agnifilo gave an update on how his client is doing following his arrest. His state of mind is actually remarkably positive, he explained. His resolve is strong, he's engaged, he's focused on his defense. He's come to terms with the fact that this is where he is for now. Agnifilo continued, speculating that concentrating on his defense is giving Diddy the strength he needs to carry him through this difficult time. While the mogul appears to be doing well despite the circumstances, his legal issues are still mounting. Late last week, for example, he was hit with his 12th lawsuit in the past 11 months. An anonymous woman accuses him of sexually assaulting, drugging, and threatening her. She additionally alleges that she was impregnated by Diddy to end this latest lawsuit. Diddy's alleged victim also accuses young Miami of trying to harass and pressure her into getting an abortion. In the end, she alleges that she had a miscarriage. Jane Doe informed Defendant Combs of the positive test. Kershaw Brownlee, Defendant Combs' associate, harassed Jane Doe by repeatedly calling her and telling Jane Doe to have an abortion. Jane Doe suffered a miscarriage and did not speak to Defendant Combs or his team for approximately three months, the suit reads. What do you think of Diddy's lawyer claiming that he's been able to stay positive despite his current circumstances? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below.